Hello, this is Real World Audio, and uh, today I'm going to answer a question of, from Klaus. And this he asked this question on one of my previous videos. Uh, this one, the funnel stage I always wanted. I, I gave that title to this video, and and that's about a really phenomenal uh, funnel stage. It's uh, Jim Hagerman's uh, trumpet, his new trumpet funnel stage. And um, and Klaus asked me. He 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 wrote a really really great comment, and he asked. Let's let's see. Ba -ba -rap. Uh, here, this is a lot of complex questions that will require multiple video series to answer. So I start with just a simple one. Will the Hagerman trumpet somehow limit what records you are able to play? And uh, and my my answer to that that uh, yes it will because it only has the R I W A E Q in it, uh, but if you think that that makes it a, a very poor phono stage that's not true at all because uh, ninety nine point nine nine percent of any and every phono stage available only plays R I W A E Q. Uh, and, and that's because 99.99% of rec all records ever made, or perhaps even more of them, probably like 99.999% of all LPs ever pressed, are pressed for the RIAAEQ. And uh, and what Klaus you have just found that you describe, uh, like like picking up like 78 RPM records, that's that's just exceedingly rare to happen and um, uh, but of course it can happen but but if you if you pick up a 78 rpm record i'm also have to add that it's not just the phono stage that's going to be your limit but your turntable as well because uh, those turntables that can play 78s they are also exceedingly rare. So if you pick up uh, 10 random turntable, out of those 10 random turntables, exactly zero will play 78. So if you want to play 78 RPMs in, in the circle of the vinylophiles or vinyl lovers, uh, people have specific rigs setups for 78s. So basically, uh, if you are a big record collector and you have thousands of records only or maybe like tens of thousands only then you uh, s usually go into the 78 uh, RPM record land and, and basically everyone I heard of who has who's playing 78 they have a special system set up for that so they have a turntable that can play at 78 rpm with a cartridge that's optimal for 78 because they want a, a bigger stylus than 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 the stylus that's optimal for uh for the uh, modern 33s or, or 45 rpms you want a stylus that has a bigger radius than, than the micro group. So 33 RPM is not just uh, uh, plays slower than the 78, but the grooves are much narrower and the tip that goes in the stylus is much more uh, narrower than, than, than the tip that's used for a 78. Of course, there are some hybrid solutions as well uh, for for tips that that you can use to play both 78 and and 33 but uh, to be uh, to really lay out the game for you is that people who who really go deep into 78s they just build a specific system so turntable cartridge and phono stage all just uh, specifically uh, done for 78 and then they have a separate system to play 33 and 45 rpm uh, records so so that that's about it so i would say in this uh, scenario 
then then truly uh, the the Hagerman trumpet oh that's Jim he's the one who makes the trumpet and that's the previous version of the trumpet and uh, and let's see what I wanted to say about this is that the trumpet is going to be like a really an end game for no stage for you if you want to pay 33s and 45s for 78s you have to go and, and seek out something that can play that and and here you go that's what uh, Klaus was already uh, on and and he found this Japanese kit the Sun Valley EQ uh, 1616D phono stage and uh, this is the first time I heard about it and uh, and let's see here we go and Stereophile already did a review of this uh, amazing little kit and 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 the one who did it was Herb Reichert and let's get into this review at the second episode in just after a little bit of a tea break so i'll be back in a second see you soon thank you klaus for your question have a phenomenal day and uh, just disregard what i told you about uh, my audiophile friends and people i heard of probably this little guy that can do you that trick to play both uh, 78 RPMs and, 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 and modern 3345s and of course you still will have the problem that you need a turntable that can play a 78 RPM but check this out I'm going to go show you guys a hint here it has two inputs so basically you can set up two turntables one for a modern and the other one that can play your 78 and you can put them in input 1 and input 2 and you can uh, choose whichever you want to play and play it on the same uh, preamp or if you want a shortcut to that Torrance has uh, one or two turntables which can play 78s as well I'm not sure um, how how frequent they are now uh, but uh, they they might be a little bit uh, troublesome to find um for sure it's uh, I, I forget which one was that torrance maybe the one hundred something so one of the torrances it, it can play 78 as well but it's a pretty rare model and I don't think that it's available for a very uh, or, or very av available or can be found easily so anyway we'll come back uh, after I, I drink a little bit of uh, liquid uh, because my mouth is really dry so let's continue from here bye bye <laughs> 